Hello everybody, this is Alexander. I am back in the pottery studio. Uh, today I have a lot of bisqueware, which is fired and ready for glazing. So I'm going to get on that. Uh, I have one little pot which has been completely finished. It's been glazed. And then later I have some leather hard pots ready for trimming. So the first thing to do with glazing is I need to center the pot on the wheel and then seal the base with wax sealant. Um, essentially, I'm tap centering the pot. Uh, it's not something which happens overnight. Um, it's not a skill which is easily picked up in my experience. Um, and essentially just brushing the wax sealant on the bottom. Uh, so this prevents the glaze from being absorbed into the pot. And that means that it will not fuse to the kiln floor. This is a process that just takes a little bit of time, just tap centering every single piece and doing every single base. But that means that we can get to the fun part, which is taking the white gloss glaze out. Um, these glazes are just kept in pots under the tables. They require a bit of a mix because the sediment gets to the bottom. Uh, and then we just take some pincers and we dip. Um, it's very simple, I'll show it from another angle. Um, it's a very quick dip um, and the glaze will dry off and become a very powdery substance uh, very quickly. So they get dipped and they get put on the side. Um, again, just very, very quick. Um, then they require a little bit of a kind of a, almost an abrade, um, a, a brushing with the with the fingers to just get rid of those pincer marks and any droplets. And then I am just applying a small layer of blue gloss glaze, which you can see in the background. Um, I am just keeping it very simple with the glaze uh, at the moment, just experimenting with brushes and just kind of go in with what feels right and what I think would just look good. Um, and that's it. That, there's the stuff on the glaze shelf. This will get fired when there is space and when they can be tetris into the kiln. Um, there is obviously a lot of stuff going around and it's very much on a first come first serve basis. There are the kilns, there's one for bisque and one for glaze. And then we get on to trimming up some of the pots that I made in my last video. Um, I really enjoyed making these. Uh, I thought they came out a lot better uh, than the last ones. Uh, and since then I have bought my own trimming tool and a couple of kidneys, which you can see. Um, and I think that really does, it does make a massive difference. Um, it's incredibly, incredibly smooth cutting, or was it cutting away the leather hard clay? Uh, just refining the form, uh, taking off the, or was it off the wall, smoothing it down, uh, adding a bevel edge on the bottom. And in just one, I decided to put on a, uh, a drainage hole, and then I'm going to try making some plates um, later. Uh, this was just putting on my initials, so the kiln technicians need to know who makes each piece, so we have to mark it somehow. I don't have a maker's mark, um, probably won't make one for a while, um, I just put my initials and then I put open studio uh, so that they know which shelves to put them on. And then it gets finished. Um, the one thing that I have to deal with is the fact that I don't have a chuck. Um, I'm not making in nearly big a quantities to warrant making one. Um, but I think I get good results anyway. So this is the current set of pots and they are going to go on the bisque firing shelves to dry out for next time. Thank you very much.